Hello everyone, back tuning into today's first video. We're going to have a look at the weather for next month across the UK and Europe too with the ECMWF 30 day seasonal model at the Hungarian Met Office for this. So a big thank you to them for supplying the charts. Um, we're going to have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the next four weeks. It takes us well into September to see uh, what uh, the ECMWF 30 day model is forecasting for the next month. Now we can't show you mean sea level pressure anomalies or 500 mm heights uh, with this, but you can get a rough idea sometimes of what model is um, forecasting from its temperature and precipitation anomalies. So that's what we're gonna do for um, video number one today. We'll be back of course later on this afternoon with the week to 10 day video update, including all of the usual features. So we're gonna start off with the temperature anomaly for week one for our forecast period. It's week 34. Uh, for this year, for 2019, um, and this is how it's looking. So, a bit of a mixed bag, actually. The warmest temperature anomaly is looking further down in the southeast of Europe, actually, in the weekend, so kind of like from Italy over the Balkans towards the Black Sea. <coughs> Excuse me, the extreme southeast of Europe, which is including uh, Greece and Turkey, just a little bit cooler than average uh, there in some places. And it gets very warm as we go up into the south of Russia. Now, for central, western, and northern parts of Europe, it really is a mixed bag. So for the UK and Ireland, we're a little bit warmer than average in this week. Let's go from the 19th, 25th of August, by the way. Scandinavia is um, a bit mixed as well. So it's a bit cooler than average over towards Norway, but uh, across uh, northern and east parts of Sweden, it's a bit warmer than average there. Coming down into central parts of Europe, we can see that uh, Germany and Poland and over towards Ukraine, generally above average there. The Baltic part of uh, northeast Europe is warmer than average too. France is a little bit cooler than average. And then we have a divide across Iberia too. So eastern parts of Spain, uh, we're warmer than, we're cooler than average, I should say. Western parts of Spain and Portugal comes down a little bit warmer than average. So a real mixed bag when you go from area to area. Through the central bowl of the Mediterranean, generally it gets warmer the first, further east you go. So the Balearic Islands of Mallorca, Minorca and Ibiza, generally close to, or possibly a little bit below average, although it will still be very warm, of course, in uh, August there. But Corsica, Sardinia, I mean, over to Italy, looks uh, looks warmer than average uh, for those areas. Precipitation-wise, in the week ahead, uh, from the 19th to 25th of August, we're looking like this. So again, very mixed sort of picture. Uh, overall, it's dry on average in the southeast corner, except to the south of the Black Sea, heading down towards Turkey. It's a bit wet average, but really through much of the Adriatic into the Balkans and over... The Black Sea, it's uh, it's dry and average there. We have a slice of wetter and average conditions through this central area just here. So it's a little bit wet and average uh, there. That includes um, alpine areas, of course, of France, Italy, Switzerland, those sort of areas. Uh, heading further northwards, we see that much of France is dry and average. About those dry and average conditions extend into southern parts of England too. We've got uh, the Netherlands and Belgium, Holland. Uh, coming out uh, rather um, dry on average, as is much of Germany as well. Up to Denmark, it's uh, dry on average there, and then dry on average into the Baltic Sea. Heading further northward still, we find that uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, wetter than average, some parts of Norway, wetter than average, and the far north of uh, Scandinavia and over to Finland a bit above average with precipitation there. It's a very mixed bag, both for temperature and precipitation anomalies in the week ahead. Uh, week two, which is week 35 of the year, taking us from 26th of August to the 1st of September, looks much more simplified and all parts of Europe then are going warmer than average. So um, you have to really go down to North Africa to find any colder than average temperature anomalies. Essentially, all places are warmer than average for this final week of August. So from Ireland and Portugal in the west of Europe over towards it, um, over towards uh, Russia, I should say, not Italy, Italy's down there, of course, over towards Russia in the far east of Europe, it is warmer than average, and all points in between are coming out warmer than average. Through the Mediterranean, it's a warm scene. Some areas are closer to average, so southern central parts of Italy 
closer to average. Uh, eastern parts of Spain, closer to average uh, there. But this does, look, this does look like a very, very warm week here across many parts of Europe for the final week of uh, August. Precipitation anomalies are looking like this. Looks a little bit unsettled down in there. It's slightly above average precipitation there, possibly indicating uh, chance of some thunderstorms into the Mediterranean. Uh, average to a little bit wetter than average across some parts of central North Scandinavia. Otherwise, lots of dry weather. You can see where the high pressure is likely to be sitting uh, through this final week of August. Lots of high pressure dominating uh, the weather, particularly through this central swathe of Europe from Ireland and the UK over uh, over towards Germany and those sort of areas. It does look generally dry through most central and northern parts of Europe in week two, which is week 35 for 2019. Uh, then we're into week three. This is taking us from the 2nd to the 8th of September. Uh, so with this one, it looks like the warm latitudes are gradually receding a little bit further eastward. So most parts of Europe are still warmer than average. Out in the west, it's nearer normal. So for Ireland, UK, France, Spain, Portugal, generally it's close to average with the temperatures uh, in this first week of September. Everywhere from uh, sort of the, the, um, Germany eastwards, let's say, and uh, the low countries eastwards, everywhere uh, is warmer than average, right way over to Black Sea in this week. Uh, Scandinavia also looking relatively um, warm. Down into the Mediterranean, we see that uh, western parts of the Med are close to average. Eastern parts of the Med are looking uh, very warm through the first week of September. Precipitation-wise, a bit of a change with precipitation as well. So it's going a little bit wetter than average out across the west of Europe. So again, for the UK, for Ireland, for France, it looks like it will be a bit more unsettled. Driving average conditions, it's a weakening signal, but driving average conditions look like, they're, look like they're heading over to the eastern side of Europe. So I think we can say in this week, the first week of September, the high pressure gradually being pushed over towards the eastern side of Europe, and we're probably introducing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. So the broad idea would be high pressure going in that direction, and uh, low pressure probably coming in from the Atlantic, going in that direction. So a rather unsettled first week to September could be uh, indicated here, and cooler too for western parts of Europe as a high pressure and the warmth and the dry conditions recede into the eastern part of uh, Europe. And then finally, we're up to week four, which is week 37 of 2019. It takes us from the 9th through to the 15th of September, so into the middle part of the month. Um, warmest anomalies to average are in the east and the southeast of Europe, where we're um, up to one to three degrees above average on the temperature scale. It is a little bit milder than average now in the north and the west of Europe too, so relatively warm scene here through this second week of September. Uh, but the warmest anomalies to average over on the eastern and southeastern side of the continent. Precipitation anomalies, very weak signal, as you always find by week four with any of these long range model uh, anomaly charts. Just huge areas of white, uh, which is no signal, uh, really. Um, we can see that it looks a little bit drier for Ireland and the UK and possibly northern parts of Germany, northern France. So those areas that were a little bit more unsettled in week one are a bit drier, actually, in week two. So potentially hinting that after an unsettled interlude, maybe, through the first week of September in the north and west of Europe, it perhaps turns drier and warmer again, maybe, in the second week of September. But these are very, very, very weak signals, uh, I have to say. And they're so weak that it's very difficult to decipher much uh, useful information by this point. Looks potentially a little bit wet and average down in the far southeast of Europe. Again, that would imply some sort of a change with high pressure perhaps returning, or higher pressure perhaps returning to the northwest of Europe, and lower pressure perhaps returning to the east and the southeast. But it really is such a weak signal that uh, it's impossible to decipher all that much in way of useful information. Uh, so that's how it's looking uh, for this week. So relatively um, warm and dry, I think, to start off with, although varying from area to area in the next few days. But generally, the trend up to the end of August is turning drier and warmer. Uh, possibly a little bit more unsettled and cooler in the northwest of Europe 
through the early part of September as the drier, warmer conditions recede into the east of Europe. And then by the time you through to the middle of September, it could be turning drier and warmer again in the northwest um, and a little bit uh, a little bit more unsettled down in the east and the southeast of Europe. But that is a very, very weak signal. Um, so rather changeable, but a lot of dry and warm weather in there, especially through the rest of August. Uh, that's how it's looking this week. We'll do it all over again next week. Remember, it's just a snapshot of what this model is showing today. It could all look very different next week. Any forecast over uh, or beyond five, seven days comes with huge health warnings. We'll be back later on this afternoon with your week's 10-day video update. That uh, will include all of the usual features, of course. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.